what up guys how you doing um, welcome back haven't done a video in a hot minute um, since the Olympia I don't think so welcome back we are now in the rebound phase pretty heavily into the rebound phase I'm pretty fat and crispy for you guys um, we get a little posing at the end not too too much to show you guys what I look like um, sitting at about like 224 I think was yesterday's weight um, so, I mean, I feel pretty good. The last few days I've had some blood sugar issues that I don't, a little unexplained. They're kind of explained, um, and I'll get them further explained uh, when I get blood work done, probably sometime at the end of this week or early next week. Ah, oh, da 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 da. So, yeah, it's leg day. Pretty much the only thing I'm focused on this offseason is legs. Um, back, we're cutting to like 60% of like what I normally would do. Um, I'm now not, I don't have a chest and shoulder day separate now. It's just an all push day um, and two leg days and a 60% pull day with a lot more biceps in it than anything. So, you know, training's changed up a little bit. I'm not the happiest about it. It was basically, do I want to move into 212 or open and just really grow? Or do I want to try to balance my legs out and stay in classic and get back down to 200 one more time? Um, and think the choice that I don't think I know at this point the choice is we're gonna get back down to 200 and do classic try to balance my legs out a little bit more um, I can't go out like that you know there were some issues on stage with my tan um, I posed like shit um, you know my body was really fighting us for the peak so we didn't peak perfectly you know we just didn't bring what we brought at Norfolk like I'm not I liked what I brought besides the tan you know, the look was decent. It's just, it's not what we brought at Norfolk. And my body was just pissed off at me. It was pretty freaking evident that whole week. It was fighting me the whole week, trying to get back down to weight. It was just a, you know, sometimes that's just what, what happens. You know, you prep for damn near 24 weeks. You know, it gets to you. So, unfortunately, you know, got the best of me. But we come back better and stronger. The choice was to possibly go to open. I just can't, I can't go on, go out on that note. So... We're gonna do another classic show. If we qualify for Olympia, we'll be back at the Olympia. Um, if not, then maybe we'll move up. We'll go from there. But the next goal is, you know, stay in classic, do a show relatively soon. I'm not gonna tell you guys when or what show, um, but most of you can probably assume what show, but yeah. So, other than that, we're gonna hit a quad focus like day to day. And like I said, I've been having some blood sugar issues, so we are gonna keep it very strictly in the quads to make sure we blow that up specifically. Do a little bit of hip work on my quad days as well. Uh, yeah, I think we're about ready to go. I feel Gucci. Koi looks good. He's shredded. He's ready to get. He's ready to get on stage in two weeks. Show them your pretty face. Let them see that mug. Oh, I gotta hold it. You gotta hold it. Yeah. <laughs> the diet base is coming in, brother. But yeah, so. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff for really the whole crew coming up. Um, you know, Koi is two weeks out, and we're all going to be up in Michigan uh, playing around up there. Uh, I don't think Koi will be the one filming, but we're going to make sure he brings his camera, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll record and bring you guys all the fun that we're doing with him up there. He's probably going to have to edit it all, so it sucks for him, but, you know. <laughs> Which isn't really fair, because I, yeah. I don't think you should be allowed to edit your own stuff. You should let us edit it. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> What do you think? You want to learn how to edit? I've been talking in here for 10 minutes this camera. Listen, do you want to learn how to edit? So we're going to record all the Koi stuff when we're in Michigan. And we're going to come back and we're gonna, me and you are going to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> funny. I, you have to record everything. That's that's, that's you. Gonna be, listen, I can record though. No. You're like, all right. You're like the worst. <laughs> at, like me asking you to take a picture. Koi, me asking him to take a picture. Mind you, when I'm doing it, I'm like getting his angles. He's like, all right, cool. Good. Like, you're the worst Instagram boyfriend I'm a, ever. I'm a guy. I don't know what you're like. terrible. Mm, okay, well, listen. That's the thing. Like, look, I built myself around it so that I can be stable without it. Yeah. And that was one of the best advice. I think Seth Rossi was the first person to say that to me. Like, build everything around yourself before you worry about sponsors paying for shit. Oh, Otherwise, yeah, yeah. you can't sustain this stuff. You can't. No. You know Not what I mean? All. Like without coaching, without if I hadn't focused on coaching so hard in the last two years, mm -hmm. I, I would be living in that way. Yeah. Which means that my life wouldn't have been as comfortable. I don't know if I would have had such a good time. Yeah. But late prep, it's like that's the only time I'm like, hey, 
Set my check ins about eight hours ago. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's same. I mean, like, my core gets cranked on squat and heavy and dealt heavy, but I'm like, I'm actually going to do direct forward. See, I feel like me and you, because we came up on a similar power building mentality. Yeah, it's like. We never trained core, never trained glutes. Do you ever train calves? Sometimes. Really? I never trained calves. Yeah. I, and I cut back during prep because my calves were fried with cardio. But really? Yeah. Yeah, man, I never do that. That's a big problem. Like, I broke my fucking tibia and tibia. Oh, you said you never trained calves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lost my fat, my fat, my completely atrophied. I was still like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off.
Just look at it. How majestic she is. You climb them stairs, baby. You climb them stairs. Sit on my face at the top. <laughs> This tall. I'm trying not to look inside. I'm used to it at this point. You know, every time I say it, I've looked at him for years now. So it's kind of used to it. He probably has little fucking short little limbs. She's a tall girl, but she got little limbs. Her legs are short.
up for a ride. Come on now. Yep. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Good. This hack squat's not good for the knees. No. I mean, it ain't bad. I've had way worse. Oh, yeah. But it's. it's yeah, I've used like some 19 and like 50 hack squat. It's like. <laughs> just that doesn't even move. Like, yeah. You know. <laughs> uh huh. So, no, I felt good though. I got mean, win every week. It's like, that's the one thing I have to turn. I don't care what it's in, I have to win. Yeah. Every yeah. Week. yeah. Small one like this. Yeah, that's what I mean. Even if it's little. Come back to the That's the thing. If I can have this. With a plate and a quarter added on to it, by the time I'm in, about to step on stage, which is like a bit of man, which is realistic, a plate and a quarter behind yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know yet. It's gonna depend on my weight, you know? Yeah. But my goal is to grow my legs. Balance. And if I'm nowhere near 200, and I'm sitting at like 220, yeah. and I look good, I'm just gonna do New York from at 212. Uh, yeah. This is like the week after this week. Yeah. So there's just a bunch of shows in that range to shoot for. So I'm like Milwaukee. Especially did class and you can free ground though. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's do it right then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much the plan. We just kinda get to that split, that early or that uh, early summer late spring area. See what the fuck is up. Yeah. Cause like dude, I always end up around 220, 225 mean. And then it's like four or five weeks out, 220. And, you're gonna push and it's like, okay, let's get the weight down now. <laughs> Some music would be cool probably, huh? I think I made it. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I, lost, I, I lost count. I lost count a little bit because I was like making sure I spawned you. <laughs> Mississippi, stay down that last one. Oh, Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, one. There you are. Good. Good. Don't sit at the bottom. There. Good. Perfect. Good. Come on. Ha <laughs> 
Because we were just talking about that. We're good? Yeah. I just closed my eyes and my bro went over. That's what's up. We're doing it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
this uh, you know, scoop the top of your hips, right, if you're a contraction. Yeah, you put it on the quads. The top of your hip scoops that whole lateralis. Yeah. So you're going to feel it the whole way through your lateralis to get done with the workout. I like it. <sighs> I, I always thought it was a humping machine. Yeah, I used it one day. This is magical. Notice me with this quad has a better pump than this one? Yeah. I think it would be like one more set of legs. Yeah, I can't really get much to come out, but you see how big they are, right? Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What up, guys? How you doing? That was leg day. Um, you know, it's, it almost looks like it's a little bit easier, but it's fucking not, I swear. It's rough. It's gonna look, it looks easier, it feels rough. Uh, we hit with Jane today. Um, I went out and trained uh, a few times with him over the last couple of weeks, and I don't really find a lot of guys that like to throw around heavy weight like me, so it's kind of a pleasure running into to you, especially somebody who came from uh, Westside Barbell. Um, somewhere when I was growing up in the gym, Westside was like one of the places I looked up to of like training style. Like I remember one time I sat up from a bench that I racked before I failed, yeah. and one of the guys that was training me, an older gentleman, very Westside mindset, literally gave, he said 30%. I looked up and said, what? And he went, Pop! 30% across the chin, punch me in the chin, right? Like, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, he's like, well, you got 30% left in the tank, so I'm gonna punch you in the jaw at 30%. Yeah. It was like that West Side style, and uh, you don't get it a lot, man. So it's been nice Probably. to run with somebody who likes some heavy stuff and pushes me, likes to be pushed a little bit, and you'll get a little, little raunchy with it. So thanks for joining me, homie. We're gonna be hitting a lot more. Um, for now, though, this is it for leg day. Um, I don't really got much to say to you guys except let's have a fun, fat-filled off-season. Let's get through the holidays and then see how big Brady gets and if we're gonna stay in class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys. Thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow Jaden. Follow his YouTube. We'll put all the stuff in the description. And yeah. Yeah, my uh, Instagram is at Jaden Lacaria. That's the same as my YouTube. Um, so definitely check me out. And. Uh, Check our videos out. We got some more stuff coming, so be on the lookout for that. Yeah, we're gonna bring you guys some dope content. Maybe we'll uh, make him do some like some fun stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll make him do some powerlifting stuff. See how much he uh, go around on a little yeah, little definitely. deadlift platform. See what we can bench together. Yeah. Well, maybe one time this off season. But all right, guys. Like I said, thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys soon.